and welcome back to my channel. My name's Tess and I make videos about stretching our money as far as I can. And in today's video I wanted to answer some of your questions and show you how I make low carb pastry and how I turn that into delicious pie. <laughs> so um, firstly I've had lots of questions about um, Things like what kind of air fryer I have, um, I have questions about recipes um, that are the, particularly my low carb bread recipe that I use and my low carb pastry recipe. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, anything that I can link below this video I'll link. So I'll put a link to the air fryer that I have, I'll put a link to my glasses, I'll put a link to um, the low carb pastry recipe that I'm showing you today, I'll put a link to the low carb bread recipe that I use a lot. Um, I have previously made a video of how I make that with a link to the recipe and I believe I wrote out the recipe underneath as well or at least the ingredients. But I'll put a permanent link, every, every under every video I'll put a link to the low carb bread, the low carb pastry and all the other things that people ask me about. Um, I'm also, because I get asked quite often, which is lovely, um, what the songs are and the tunes are that I put over my videos sometimes. I'm going to start, I've already done it on one video, you may have noticed. Um, I'll start putting the name of the song and the artist and where I found it on the video at the point where it's playing so that you can see what it is and go and find it for yourself. I know there are some that really catch people and, and I've put them on the videos because I like them so I can really understand that. Um, so I hope that helps with lots of the questions that you have. A lot of people ask me about a lot of things about eBay and selling on eBay and buying from car boots. So I think I might do that in another video, a separate video. I'll answer your questions about all of that. Okay. So I'll show you me making my pastry. So here are all the ingredients for my low carb um, pastry that I use. I'll put a link below to the originator of the recipe. They have a YouTube channel. It comes from Keto Connect. And this works really well for me. They do a... A sweet version and a savoury version so today I'm making the savoury version and for that I need butter, salt, coconut flour, coconut flour is in here, uh, almond flour, apple cider vinegar, xanthan gum and an egg and for my pie filling this is my favourite treat it's Marks and Spencer's chunky, tin of chunky steak so I'm going to make two pies using this as the filling um, I would add something like mushrooms but we don't have any today um, and just to make a couple of steak pies for myself one for my tea tonight and one for my tea another day so I'll show you how I make it so into my um, food processor I'm putting a cup of almond flour quarter cup of coconut flour, half a teaspoon of xanthan gum and I'm spreading this around otherwise it tends to clump. And then a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then this just needs to be mix together well in the um, food processor. There we go. So I'm now going to add um, an egg, three tablespoons of butter and the apple cider vinegar. And then give this another blitz. And 
until it pretty much comes together in a ball and that's it now I'll pull that together into a smooth ball and put it in a plastic bag in the fridge to rest until I need to use it which will be later this afternoon um, it needs about, at least half an hour to um, sit in the fridge but it can be frozen and it can be kept in the fridge for several days um, before you use it there we go that's my bowl of low carb pastry oh sorry boo boo I've divided up the tin of chunky stewing steak in gravy between these two little dishes. Um, they're oven proof so, and I've got four of these. They're little vintage ones and they're really perfect for making homemade pies. So I put the filling in there and over here I'm just frying off some onions and red peppers. And I'm going to let them cook for a long time so they really caramelise. And then I'm going to put a layer of those on top of the meat. My pastry will go on there. Seal it around the edge with a little bit of water. Put a little slit in the top of the pastry to allow steam to vent. And then I'll bake those in the oven just until the... Because the filling obviously is cooked but it needs heating through. So I'll bake them in the oven long enough for the filling to heat up thoroughly and the pastry to brown. Now um, almond flour pastry can burn very easily so I'll put a little bit of tin foil around the edge of each of these pies when I put them in the oven just to prote protect the edge from burning. is yet to come Too many times has come to pass Too many moments put aside Getting out alive Getting out alive Writing letters in the sand
hope that's been useful. Um, thanks very much for watching. If you've got any more questions, pop them in the comments below. I always make note of them, even if it's just a mental note, which is not as securely fixed as a written note <laughs> these days. But I will. I always pay attention to questions that I'm asked and try and get round to them at some point, either in a video or I'll answer directly in the comments. So yeah, if you've got any other questions or anything you want me to go over or explain, do let me know in the comments and I will catch you all again really soon with another video. You take care now. Bye for now.